UCB Theater. It's seven second delay. Everybody clap. Sometimes we say we have a great show and we don't mean it. We hardly ever mean it. Yeah, in fact, we usually don't mean but it. But my God, we have a real, I mean, we have a show here. Yeah, we have Comedy Central's John Benjamin on tonight. He's like a, he's like a rock star. It's, it's a, a really, very, it's very like a rock man. and roll couch. Yeah, it is a rock and roll couch. And then we have a real rock star who's even more like a rock star. Yeah, Don Fleming. He, and then we have in the documentary world, Andrew Rossi is kind of, well, the. Yes, of the, yeah, uh, the of metaphor. The new... I think the metaphor is falling apart at that point. <laughs> Off the screen. Yes, he's it? the. Ro- I'm not the rock star, but he is. Wally Fernstein, the cucumber guy, is not like a rock star at all, really. He's a he's a cue road. card a cue card rock he's... star. Uh, Wally, does Andy have the handwriting of a psychopath? I was gonna say something about that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a special bonus segment, Operation Repel the tiny audience we have left. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Last time we did this. People hated it. Uh, people hated it. Hated in, it. In fact, they didn't believe that anything actually was going they on. They hated it. On they stage. hated us for doing it, and they hated it for being it. Which and, is why you're uh, so enthusiastic about doing it a second they time. They hated it so much, we've, we said we had to do it again. Are you serious? It's a national sport in Mongolia. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Fun's an interesting Fun word. Fun is an interesting word. Hey, let's bring out, look, I'm really a big fan of this guy. I believe he has 87 shows on TV. 88. 88, yeah. yeah. Currently co-starring with Julia Roberts and Tom Hanks in the big comedy hit Larry Crown. I think you were not supposed to mention that. I, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. I thought you detested yourself. I, I'm thrilled you're here. I'm actually surprised you have time in your day. <laughs> to. Uh, you should have seen my day. What was your day? Today is Wednesday. You... Uh, well, I have a kid, so I got up at seven uh, and ignored him for like an hour. She was sensitive, and she understood me. She understood those weird things from 1943. How old is this uh, fella? He's eight. Okay. Um, uh, and then I took him to camp. He goes to camp on the, on the Upper East Side. Uh, <laughs> he goes to Upper East Side Camp. <laughs> she cracked. I'm hurt. You're right. What What do kids do at Upper East Side Summer Camp? No, I, no, no. Shut up, Ken. <laughs> they learn how to date rape. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. It's a New York tradition. Yeah. <laughs> You have to introduce our next guest, not knowing whether he is here or not. Okay, I'll do that. His name is Andrew Rossi. He directs documentaries, and I just saw his latest one called uh, Page One. I know uh, you didn't see it, did you, Ken? I have not, no. Yeah, something about not I caring, did see control- not caring I did, enough. I did see an earlier documentary he made uh, called Control Room. I saw it twice. His other, his, yeah, Control oh, Room. Oh, really? What, yeah. what news organization was Control Room about? Al Jazeera. Wait, is that right? Very good. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> Andrew Rossi, please. Oh, where is he? You know what's great about the movie is you got to... Uh, I've been reading these people's names and their bylines for years, and thanks to you, now I sort of now I feel... I know who, you know, when it says David Carr, I know who that is and, uh, and other people that I see every day in the Times. And, Absolutely. And, uh, Thank that's, you. That's, that's, that's half the fun of the movie. Was there a scene like on the fence until totally. the, at the last minute? Well, what was that scene? So there's a scene of David Carr actually filming a video in his basement in Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, he's a great character. He'll invite you over to his basement if you ask him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm actually, I have a lot of experience doing little uh, pathetic shows in basements. Yes. Did they put any kind of conditions on you before they gave you uh, year-long access to the Times? So they really didn't. I mean, that's an important note, is that this is not a New York Times product. They had no editorial control over the film. Um, The only thing that I agreed to do was to sort of live up to journalistic ethics um, that they share. Uh, You know, I'm a a filmmaker. Ken, 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 you're just (laughs) embarrassing yourself. Come on. And Van is more fun than anything on TV. Ken, have you seen... Is uh, that true? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It is. How how much of it is real... Um, like I think a lot of people were wondering, especially about the uh, 
the cash stall segment yeah. in which you offered $100 to somebody in the next bathroom stall over, yeah. um, and he uh, attacked you. Those are, it, was, <laughs> it was a combination of real and fake. We, Has, we tried to do it for real, and that didn't work out. No! Don't do that. Do, and then when we talk to the cue card guy, we have some ideas. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're going to interview him via cue cards. That could be... Well, I don't want to use the word fun again. Wait, Ken, I don't need a mic. Our next guest is the man behind many of your favorite shows. Please welcome Wally Ferriston. Um, Thank you. Why do too, so many TV shows use cue cards instead of teleprompters? Um, well, actually, it's mo mainly the talk shows. A lot of the, all the other TV shows use teleprompter because they're new shows and they're speaking right to camera. Um, uh, what a stupid question. No, that's not. Why do you look so puzzled, Andy? Did we embarrass ourselves in front of him? Did, we did okay, right, you and I? <laughs> and you just joined Twitter. At least I have and, a lane. <laughs> and, <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> you're tweeting mostly about tea. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, I'm a big tea fan. <laughs> I like tea a lot. I do. You notice that. And how many followers do you have on Twitter? <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do uh, with the old cue cards? <clears throat> We, we spend so much time working on these cue cards, especially for Saturday Night Live, rewriting and rewriting and writing. The show goes on. It's a great show. We put them in a pile at the end of the night, and the, the scenic artists use them to catch paint on the floor the next week while they're painting the sketches. That's what happens to the old cue cards. Sometimes we'll save one or two. The Live from New York will save one or two. Actually, that was the impetus for an idea. I'm actually starting a charity, Cue Cards for Charity, this fall, where I'm going to be saving one or two cards from each sketch that go, it makes the air. I'm going to get it autographed, I'm going to put it on a website, and then the money's going to go all towards charity. So if you want to look for that on NBC.com, hopefully this year, that will be, uh, that will be running. <laughs> Are you going to donate your cue cards to charity? Because I am. Yeah, me too. No, you're not. You're just copying me. Uh, I'll donate to Got You Last. Do you know that charity? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me about Got You Last. They play, they play practical jokes on terminally ill people. <laughs> <laughs> the Velvet Monkeys are coming to town. Ken and Andy are sitting around. But I, you know, I realized as I was reading these reviews, I'm reading them all online. <laughs> are, is that has that been your experience? Like, uh, it's, is it a little weird just going online and reading these reviews about the death of print? Well, you know, or going on Twitter. I mean, that's, yeah, that's going really, on Twitter. you know, I'm, I'm mostly trying to get a pulse for how Do you think the New responding. York Times will be printing a newspaper on newsprint in 30 years? No. 30 years? I, no, I, I just, I, I want my obituary in print in, in the New York Times. Paper. That's the goal of my life. <laughs> you better die soon then. Oh, I'm working on that too. <laughs> Don't you want to see Mongolia now? They do that in Mongolia. Yeah. That's the national well, I, sport. I think the most successful... Just walking down the street <laughs> will be like a, a kick in Mongolia. I don't think that the print product will be anything more than a sort of like fetish object, an artifact <laughs> at that point. Um, How I, about I 10 just, years? 10 years, yes. I think, I think it's like maybe 15 to 30. I think that's the window where it starts to go away. And when does the New York Times does it? Uh, when did they do their first pledge drive? And you're doing all sorts of archival stuff now with um, Ken Kesey material and Alan Lomax. And well, I've been doing an archival gig thing for a while. I, I've, more recently, I worked on uh, these films that were being made about uh, Hunter S. Thompson and Ken Kesey, the uh, magic bus that is out right now. It's available on demand. It was the first time someone had a psychedelic bus going across the country, but they were making a movie. Uh, and what did you do for that? Well, I transferred the audio, like the. Uh, it's actually restored. you actually transferred the recordings of Neil Cassidy driving the bus, beating yeah, his yeah. ass off. I, it was like two mics a lot of times, so Neil in the front seat, driving and like just yabbering at a million miles an did hour. Did it make you say this? I wish I was there with him, or did it make you say this? Uh, Thank the Lord, well, I wasn't there with him. I, a little bit of both. I've got to get to know more Mongolians. <laughs> 
That's my new goal in life. So you are holding down the fabled Crank Yankers spot on Comedy Central. <laughs> uh, the, the lead in, lead I've into never the... been insulted more. So. <laughs> Um, a lot of our listeners uh, have actually specifically asked me to uh, no longer have successful guests uh, because they feel that you're much funnier when you have nothing but dripping disdain <laughs> for the people at your right. Great. Well, let's get going. <laughs> the night is young. Let's give it up for him. And, we'll be uh, back here uh, two weeks from tonight with our special guest, Director John Sales uh, from the TV show Children's Hospital. We'll have David Wayne. Oh! Yes. Oh, that's a real show. Can and our I musical come? guest, Mike Dowdy. I'm going to come early. You get a good seat. This is WFMU East Orange, WMFU Mount Hope, WFMU.org. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs>